Let's see how much a peck will do. We outspeed it. Peck doesn't do that much damage. Disappointing. Fever does a lot of damage. How much will an Echoed Voice do? Echoed Voice does more damage. And she has a berry. Fuck me. Okay. Um, let's freshwater that. What's up guys, welcome back to Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we made our way here to Serpentine City. In today's episode, we are going to be taking on the Serpentine Gym. Our first gym of the series. I'm very excited for this. I hope we don't lose, but before we do that, we're going to do a quick little team recap. I have grinded everyone up. I decided to go with going to level 14. So, here we are. Hopefully, we aren't too overleveled. But starting off, we've got our starter, Hurrivore, Victor the Hurrivore. Level 14, Admin Nature with the Overgrow ability, holding the Miracle Seed, Rocking the Razor Leaf, Roll Out, Leech Seed, and Withdraw. Then we got Edward the Bud Cheap, a level 14, Timid Nature with the Big Pecks ability, Frog and Peck, Growl, Sing, and Echoed Voice. And finally, we got Gerald the Hamstar, level 14, Quiet Nature with the Overcoat ability, Frog and Headbutt, Roll Out, Defense Curl, and Baby Doll Eyes. So, that is our squad. Um, I'm actually going to put uh, Edward up front, and I think we're going to try to let Edward kind of put in the work because Edward has really good uh, special defenses and I feel like we're going to be hit by moves uh, fire or not fire poison type moves stronger than poison sing so and most poison type moves are special anyways so except for like the really broken ones wow that thing looks absolutely adorable I love this um, I'm going to peck it to death and it lived okay never mind Okay, Sludge. Wow, that's like exactly what I was expecting. I My green screen moved back a little. You guys probably saw that. Uh, you might have seen it. <clears throat> but anywho, Peck, we kill it. There we go. We're fine. Nothing bad happening so far. And I think we should be Gucci. I think we're going to be fine. So one of the things I'm really scared of is the fact that we can only use three mons because we can only use as many mons as the gym leader has. And that basically means... Okay, Spidox looks adorable. It's dead. Okay, never mind. But that basically means we only have three mods. But since um, Victor is a grass type, can't really use him. So we basically only have use of two of our mods. And that doesn't even... Uh, like, it's not like we could have used Olivia, the... I think, what is it? Lavin Seed? Because it's fairy grass and it would have just been instantly murdered. So... Uh, hopefully, we will be fine. I can't really put too much hope into that, to be perfectly honest with you guys. So, yeah, that is, it is what it is. Um, but, <coughs> as I cough up my lung, uh, let's take on Donna real quick. Oh, hey, Nick. I'm glad you came. Well, this is the gym. Well, my gym, I guess. This used to belong to my dad, so I just started growing my roses here. I've loved Poison-type Pokemon since I was born. They can be tough, but beautiful, too. Just like how every rose has its thorns. Let's do our best, okay? Choose up to three Pokemon for our battle. Alright, so we're going to start with Victor, and then we'll have Gerald, and... Er, start with Edward, then Gerald, and then Victor. Ooh. Okay, Versa, this gym music. Slaps. So... I love this. Wow. This is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go for Peck. Starts off with the Todd Art. We two hit it. Sludge. Ow. It's more damage than I would have hoped. And she goes for a potion. God damn it. Alright, that's fine. And we get a min roll, so we're not gonna kill it this turn. Never mind. I'm a liar. <coughs> Let me cough up my lung. As the usual. And I'm gonna switch into Gerald for this bad boy. I don't know who this is, actually. So, Spidox. Okay. I think we'll be fine. Um, I kind of want to click Defense Curl and start rolling out and see what will happen, but I don't want to risk that, so I'm going to go for Headbutt. Bite. Okay. That doesn't do that much damage. Kind of eat it. That was a crit. I don't know if she's going to heal up, but I'm going to heal uh, real quick. Like I'm going to heal Edward just to see... Um, if that'll help us bind, that's fine, because it's not going to do, like, any damage to us. And we can go for a headbutt. Bite, that's fine. And it's dead. All right, there we go. Making progress on our last mon already. 
Okay, um, I almost want to go into Victor and Leech Seed it, but I don't think it's worth it because I think Victor will end up dying, and I'm not really feeling like putting that on my resume of just deaths. Um, let's see how much a Peck will do. We outspeed it. Peck doesn't do that much damage. Disappointing. Fever does a lot of damage. How much will an Echoed Voice do? Echoed Voice does more damage. And she has a berry. Fuck me. Okay. Um, let's fresh water that real quick. There we go. And how much does Fever do? Let me check. Are you kidding me? Are you are you for real right now? That does a total of 16. Um, Fever did 12. And Burn does 4. So I can live another... I think, but I don't want to risk it. I'm going to potion up real quick. I'm going to potion up and see what happens. Just in case, because punishment. Okay. Is this thing a dark type? Because I think I think the super effective noise plays. Because um, that, 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 like, it plays it in the background. I think that plays when it's a stab move, and I'm pretty sure punishment is a dark type move. And this thing does look kind of goth, so. I'm going to go for an echoed voice. Punishment doesn't do that much damage. That's a crit. Um, okay, so I can kill this thing right now. Okay, wow. Mission accomplished. First gym done. Um, I'm a little high leveled. I was a little over leveled, so I apologize for that. We're going to try to not have that, but wow. Okay. Um, interesting. We got an evolution. Oh my god. Time stamp. Don't hit the record button on accident. Oh, this thing looks awesome. Doesn't really change that much, but just enough for it to be noticeable. At least the body shape. Gets bigger, obviously. But, wow. Oh my lord. <laughs> Bud chirp. Okay. Um, look at that. Like, look at his face. He's burned and he's flying now. Ooh. Even though I lost, that was a good battle. I've got a lot more to learn, it seems. I'm happy to give you this. The thorn badge. Okay. Badge number one. That is good. That is a good thing. That's the official gym badge of Serpentine City, the Thorn Badge. Oh, take this too. Fever. Okay. That's... It's a poison type move. It has a chance of making the foe become burned with a fever. Thanks for the battle. Good luck on your journey. Okay. Wow. Let's get out of here. Uh, okay. Wow. Uh, new evolution. I want to check him out. Edward, the Bud Chirp. Um... Ooh, his attack. His everything skyrocketed. His special attack so much hype, higher now. So maybe maybe him being a timid nature isn't a bad thing. His special attack's way higher than his physical now. So that's actually good, because I can make use of Echoed Voice. And you're still... What is your type? Normal Flying. Okay, you're still Normal Flying. Alright, anywho, let's skedaddle. Let's go heal. And, oh, hello, Rodney. Hey, Nick, how'd your battle go? You won? Wow, that's a cool badge. I'll go battle Donna for my gym badge now, but you should head back over to the trainer school and see what it is that Mr. Bellow has for winning the gym match. I'll catch you later. All right, well, in that case, I guess I'll go uh, kill up my squad and then I'll go talk to Mr. Bella. So I guess that's the game plan. All righty, just heal the boys. And I'm actually really, I'm, I actually really love this evolution, to be honest with you. Like, looking at him fly around with me. Look at his face. He's so cute. I love this. Okay. I really just wish half these mons were, like, real mons. So, hopefully that'll happen someday. That'd be amazing. Oh, you're back. And what's that? The gym badge. Congratulations. Now, as I said before, I'll give you something that will help you with your journey. But seeing as how you managed to get the gym badge so easily, I would like you to battle my students. It may help you as well as them become better trainers. After you defeat them, I'll give you that special item I promised. Okay. Um. In that case, I'll just start off with uh, Edward. I should probably switch uh, to Gerald or Victor, but I'll do that after this battle, obviously. A Bud Sheep. Okay. Well, we'll let our Bud Sherp come out, and I'm going to Echo Voice because my special attack so much higher. And I know Echo Voice is weaker than Wing Attack, but it actually is useful. Echo Voice is the one that gains power every other every turn it's used, right? I'm pretty sure it is. I could be wrong, though. I've been wrong before. 
All right, uh, let's double check, actually. It's the one that's, yeah, every turn, if this move is used every turn, it does greater damage. All right, so I'm going to put Victor up front, actually. Let's let Victor uh, shine a little. Go, and you can use your Pokemon to have a status. You can, you can cause a Pokemon to have a status. Oh, no. Is it gonna po is it gonna be a poison type? I just switched Victor up front. He has a tot art. Fuck! Okay, fine. Whatever. Okay. Edward, come on back out. It's time. Leafage. Why would you not go for a poison type move? Okay. Yeah, I guess. I'll go for wing attack. That'll probably kill you. Yeah. And it was a crit too. That's probably insult injury. It's kinda fucked up. Anywho. Um, can the next person be somebody I can fight? Take this. Oh, it's an antidote. Thank you, sir. Um, can I fight... Oh, excuse me. Uh, can I fight... If Pokemon is paralyzed, I may not be able to attack. Okay. This should be something that Victor can fight. I don't know what it's gonna be, but... Elec... Oh, Electrator. Yeah. That makes sense. Um... Oh, yeah, I forgot, uh, Victor learned Razor Leaf. I don't know how I forgot that, but I got instantly paralyzed. Okay, that's fine. Well, I one-shot it anyways. And I still have a Paralyze Heal, so she's probably going to give me one too, so... You can take this. Oh, okay. Oh my lord! So I, I've noticed, like, I already saw that, like, every time they have a status condition, they're a different color. But him being, like, just glowing yellow is very concerning. Victor, get some heals, buddy. There you go. Alrighty. Who's next? Making an opponent's Pokémon fall asleep can help you get far in a battle. It's easy, I'll show you. Mm. Will you? Are you gonna put me to sleep? You have a bud cheap or something? Or a dove heart? He has a dove heart. God damn it. Okay, you bitch. Um, I can't fight with that. I'll go into Gerald. Gerald. Come on out, my dude. Fairy Wind. How much damage does that do to me? That does a lot more damage than I was hoping. Um, let's go for Headbutt. Fairy Wind. And I'm gonna have to heal. Okay. Gerald, you're gonna get uh you're gonna get some use. And actually, I think Gerald's really good. Gerald's, like, super bulky, from what I can tell. Like, he's not, well, not super bulky, but he's definitely very, he's definitely got some physical bulk. Uh, so that's for sure. And I really like it. I can dig it. Uh, go for Headbutt. Play Fight. That's probably gonna, it doesn't lower my attack this turn. But I'm really hoping that the three Pokemon that we have right now are going to be usable, usable throughout the series. And not, like, have to get boxed at any point. And mainly I'm just saying for Gerald and uh, Edward because, dude, I can almost guarantee he's gonna pull a fast one on me and be like, hey, I'm gonna, I wanna battle you too. And I'm gonna cry. All right. Okay. Well, well, you've beaten all my students. As promised, here's your reward for beating them. Obtained a Clippers. Interesting. You don't know what this is? Let me explain. Not long ago, Pokemon trainers used to call use so-called hidden machines to teach Pokemon special. This replaces hidden machines. Many trainers use Pokemon as so-called HM slaves, so to prevent this, some special items were created to replace hidden machines. One of them is the clippers. Allows you to cut down bushes and other stuff like you could with the HM cut. I don't need this anymore. One anymore. My daughter has one too. I hope these clippers will help you on your journey. Ooh. Okay. Wow. That's really good. Am I gonna have to talk to Rodney at some point? I'm gonna go heal. I'm gonna go heal real quick. And then, I kinda wanna use it on the tree that's up in the mossy forest, I guess what it's called. But also that'll let me get through the spider webs that are over on the other route. I don't know what the name of the route is, but I kinda wanna see what's over here. I kinda wanna do a little bit of exploring, you know? So let's just see what this can do. There we go. What, what, what's over here? Anything special? Nope, it's just a shortcut. Alright, well, I probably should have seen that coming. But I'm okay with it, because I can listen to this bop of music, and I'm really okay with it. So, anywho, I guess with that, we can continue onwards. We've got our first gym badge already. We didn't lose any mons. I'm really happy about that, because I feel like if I had lost literally anyone at any point in this gym, I probably would have gotten fucked up. So, oh. There's Kira. Am I gonna have to battle her? Great to see you, Nick. How are you doing? Wow, you've already won your first gym badge? I'm going to battle the gym leader as soon as Rodney's done. Oh, before I forget, take this! Oh, there's a god. There's a god in heaven. This machine will give experience to one of your Pokémon, even if it didn't battle. Give it a try! 
Anyway, I better go do some training before my gym battle. I'll see you soon, Nick. Okay, so we have the XP share, which can be useful, uh, especially when I'm grinding. So, Dolphern Forest. Ah, uh, don't make me have to battle this asshole. Can I go up here and, like, avoid that? I... I really wanted to see what's in the grass. I'm a little sad about that, but also I think a spit ox could be kind of cool. So I'm gonna go for leech seed. And I guess this will be. I'm okay with it. I mean, I'm not mad. But, you know, it's a little depressing because it probably could have been a really good mon. Um, I don't think I can attack it with anybody. How many. I have nine Pokeballs. Okay, I should be fine. Alright, I mean. Spitox looks cool. I actually really think it looks cute, and I think it'll be useful. And we got him. All right. Uh, I guess I'll. I won't be mad. I'm not gonna be mad. I've got a perfect name for you. Your name is gonna be. Uh, actually, your name. You're gonna be Charlie. I was gonna name him Miles, but I named my Ariados in Umber Moon Miles, so. Yeah. All right, Charlie. Um, let's see what I could have gotten in this lovely grass. Glowig. Interesting. Okay, and it's really low level compared to uh, the other one, compared to Spidox. But I'm gonna actually timestamp it so Spidox can be on the squad. I'll actually use him. I can give him the XP share, actually. Charlie, you are quiet nature. Doesn't look like that's really that good for you. Got Swarm with Poison Sting, Spider Web, a String Shot, and a Bind. All right. Um, that's not too bad. I'm gonna give him the EXP share just so he can get some levels. I'm probably gonna have to fight this asshole over here, and that's probably gonna be a fun battle for us. I'm gonna hate every second of it. Jumple, ooh, Jumple does look adorable. I really like how Jumble looks, so you know what? I can get behind it. Anywho, I'm gonna go heal real quick before I have to probably inevitably got fight this guy and possibly get fucked up. So hopefully I won't because I'm gonna be really upset if something happens, but I think we'll be fine. I think our squad is at a pretty decent level. Um, obviously, Charlie's a little leveled, but Charlie will get there and I think we'll be fine. I don't think anything too bad will happen, but the more I say it, the more likely something bad's gonna happen, so I should probably stop speaking. Anywho, let's fight this guy. Oh, there he is. Hey, you! You're the trainer from Serpentine City. I see you won the gym badge. Maybe you're not weak after all. You see this web here? It was made by a Spidox. You gotta cut it down if you wanna get through it. But if you do, it's very likely you'll get attacked by a Spidox. I mean, you are destroying its web. Oh, he doesn't fight me. All right. Well, okay, so we do fight Spidox. All right. Um, level 10, just like the last one. I don't know if I should have counted it as like a static encounter or something, but I mean, it's no big deal. Uh, I would have gotten Glowig, I think is what it was called. And that wouldn't have been too bad, but it would have been another bug type and I just would have boxed one of them. So, I'm gonna just wing attack this thing. There we go. And it's dead. There we go. Alright, thank you, Edward, for helping us out there. Edward's our highest level Mon, so that's good. Anywho. Um, oh. Alright. See, I told you. Well, the Spidox here are weak anyway. Well, since we're both here, how about a battle? I want to see if you're good at com competition or a waste of my time. Your battle against the orange-haired boy wasn't impressive. Let's see if you're a match for me. Fuck, and I don't get to heal. His name is Rick. Of course this asshole's name is Rick. God damn it, I should have healed. I should have gone back to heal. Parkaw, Paracaw. Interesting looking little boy. Uh, it's level 11, so it should be fine. His music is actually kind of good, but he's uh, clearly an emo dude, emo douchebag. I'm gonna click Echo Voice and just try to get some uh, Echo Voice damage going. Never mind, I gotta heal. Wow. I'm bobbing my head to this tune. 
I like it. I can dig it. Anywho, I apologize you guys had to witness that. Um, this Paracaw is doing a lot of damage for a Mon that's five levels below me. Which tells me that things are up. Jumple. Okay, that's fine. I can probably one-shot you with Wing Attack. Holy shit. It's dead. Okay, never mind. Bide would have been terrifying. Okay. What is your last Mon, my dude? Dynomite. That sounds like a fire-type Pokemon to me. That is the coolest looking Mon ever! Oh my god! It's a fight. It's a fighting type. It's got. That's got to be a fighting type. It's got the bandages and everything. That's like a fight. That looks like it's a fire fighting type, dude. That is awesome, dude. That's legit. Like the coolest mon. Holy shit! I love that. Okay, that's amazing. Well, I'm still better. Fuck you. You got lucky. We're tired after the gym battle. Well, I'm out of here. I'll definitely see you later, and next time you won't be so lucky. Dude, you're a dick. I don't like you. But that dynamite, I'll take the dynamite off your hands. I want that mon. I want to find that mon, and I want it. That thing looked awesome, dude. That's got to be like a firefighting mon. Dynamite, it it was it was weak to fl a flying type move. It was weak to wing attack. It has the bandages on it, so it clearly, it looks, it looks like it's a fighting type. It's got to be a fighting type. And also, like... It just, the name Dynamite sounds like it should be a fire type. So if that thing's firefighting, that's lit, and I want it. So please, uh, provide that with to me, please, for a second. That'd be lovely. I'm going to get these clippers, cut them down, and get attacked by a Spidox. A Spidox. Hello, Spidox. Um, Victor, there's no way you're going to be able to outrun it. Never mind. Okay, I'm a liar. And, ooh... Um, Victor's probably gonna evolve next level. So let's just take on this double battle. Real quick, like. And, uh, do that. I can feel a sneeze coming. Up. Up. Ah, oh, I was too late to... I was too late to mute it. Shit. God damn it. Alright. Anywho. Glowig. Looks like a mon that is gonna get almost one-shotted. And I missed the thing. It's probably a bug type. So, or maybe it's a normal type. Who knows? Let's uh, figure it out. It is a bug type. All right. Okay, good to know. Well, at the very least, um, after that sneeze, my nose like is dying. But anywho, I don't know why that super effective sound plays. I could have sworn. I thought it would just be because it's stab. See that. <gasps> it looks like a mini Torterra, and I love everything about it. This line is clearly, like, inspired by Turtwig in some way. Like, oh. Forest Stone. So it is a, it's, it's a rock type. It is a rock type. This is the most adorable Pokemon I have ever seen in my life. F or Grass Rock, Animate Nature. Look at that attack stat. That is my highest attack stat. Okay. Um, he's a bulky boy, I'll tell you that. <clears throat> wow. Um, I love that. I love Victor. I love everything about Victor. But I do need to level up Gerald a little bit. And Gerald's probably going to keep um, getting outsped by everything we run into in the grass. So that'll probably be fun. Chip beep. Or cheap beep. I think it's what it's called. I'm gonna just headbutt it, just to get like a, at least some levels out of this. I'll just fight some of the wild Pokemon we run into. Grass Whistle. I'm glad you missed that. Okay, that's fine. Well, down goes that. I don't think. No, I'm not gonna get anything. Okay, there we go. Let's just continue onwards. Just keep taking on these trainers. Keep going on through here, and I think we'll be fine. I think we are actually making some good progress, to be honest with you. Jumple, level 8. Okay, so these trainers are going to be a little below us. Struggle Bug lowers my special attack. That's fine. Jumple is almost dead. It goes for double team. You bitch. Okay. And I instantly miss Headbutt. Fuck. Please. Struggle Bug does damage to me. Please don't miss a Headbutt. Thank you. Alright. So I'm going to try to get Gerald some levels just because Gerald is clearly getting behind everyone. And I'm not going to learn after you. 
Bug Ray. What is Bug Ray? Bug Ray sounds like it's electric and bug. Let's find out. It looks like it's electric bug. But it's not. Okay. Maybe it evolves into something that becomes electric bug. I don't know. But it's definitely weak to uh, bug type moves or flying type moves. So, yeah. All right. Well, I guess we'll just keep going. Look at that beautiful hamstar. Just run away from that. If I had to take a guess, if I had to venture a guess, hamstar is either going to, or Daryl's going to either evolve next level or at level 20. So, we're probably not going to have another evolution this episode. Um, I really doubt it. So I guess we'll just keep going. I'm going to roll out because this thing doesn't have any stronger moves. So it, it only has bind. Bind and Poison Singer. It's only two attacks. So this rollout should kill. There we go. All right. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm really loving everything I'm seeing for this game. And I'm going to keep saying it every episode. But I just love this game. And it's, this is only episode three, and I absolutely adore it. Okay, she's got a hamstar. Interesting. I'm going to headbutt that. But, yeah, like, all the Pokemon in this game are, are amazing. Uh, the music is great. Like, I just really like everything I've seen so far. And I'm actually not going to be too mad if this if this ends up being, like, a longer... Excuse me, a longer series. What the fuck is this? This thing looks like Happini met uh, Lickitung. But what is going on? Play fight. Okay, so play fight, is that a dark, or is that a normal type move? Is play fight not a fairy type move? Apparently not. It went for bide though, and it's dead. Okay, that's fine. Uh, bouncy recoils victor. Okay, bouncy. So is that a move that reflects projectile moves? That's actually kind of cool. I want to get that red ball thing. I don't want to fight these trainers. I don't I don't want to have to, but I'm gonna because I need levels. So trying to like keep everything divided up between all my mons is gonna be a lot harder now. But Tad Art, I'm gonna go into Edward for it. Poison Sing. I probably could have stayed in. And I'm gonna just wing attack. Edward might be my highest level for like just a like episode. Probably for the rest of this episode, and that might be it, because I'm going to start using Victor more now that he's evolved, and Victor can probably put in more work. Obviously, the only reason he got high in level anyways was because of the gym. I couldn't really use Victor, so, you know, cheap it. All right, um, let's go for headbutt. Wow, okay. Put me to sleep, then. I'm going to try to wake up. Peck, I can swallow that. I can eat all of your physical attacks. So, obviously, you lowering my attack's gonna piss me off, though. Okay, headbutt, please do some damage. Okay, it's two hit still. It's fine. Alrighty. Well, then, I guess with that, um, we're gonna see if we're near the exit yet, and then I'll probably end the episode. Let's see if we can get to the exit yet. Um, oh, oh boy. This is some kind of evil team, isn't it? Oh, it is. Oh, those are evil. Miss Scarlet, was the Earth down here? We got, we've we got it, it's ours. We're one step closer to achieving our goal. I'm gonna have to fight these guys. I think someone, I think someone's listening in on us. Oh God, don't fight me, please. I don't think I can win a battle right now, my dudes. Who is it, a Team Solar Spy? You, who are you? And what are you doing here? Are you working with Team Solar? Team Solar? You better not be lying to me. If you are, you'll... You tell those loser commanders that the Earth Stone is ours and there's no way they're getting their hands on it. Miss Scarlet, we'll take care of this little punk. I'm gonna have to sit here and fight Team Lunar. Where the fuck those assholes are? Gerald, Victor, you've got some asses to whoop. Let's do this, boys. I'm gonna click roll out. I'll be fine. Bind? Fuck you. Oh, they're trying to double bind me. Fuck you. Victor's gonna wreck your shit. It's stab, you fuckers. It's stab and super effective. You're not living anything anymore. Get out of here. Okay, at the very least, they're not high leveled, so that's fine. 
but roll out, you're dead. Okay. You know what? Dude, Victor looks amazing, first off, and I'm never going to get over it, but wow, that was a lot easier of a battle than I thought it would be. Okay. Well, in that case, ugh, do I need to do everything myself? Listen, kid, I don't know who you are, but you're going down. Scarlet. She's kind of hot. I like the white streak. The emo uh, thing. She's got two mons. Screech. What? What? What is he? What is he? What? What am I looking at? Okay, Edward, come here. <laughs> He's so derpy looking. What the fuck? Oh my! I... Dude, look at his face. What the fuck? This thing's probably a ghost type, so I'm not gonna like echoed voice. Okay. <laughs> Look at his derpy little face! That's so adorable! I want that! That looks like Mistrevious' derpy cousin. Drac... Darkula. Um, I, I read Dracula. Apologies, but it's dead. So, Oh, it lived! Okay, I've been had. It's got Pursuit. I'm gonna kill it. Darkula, so it's probably Bug Dark type. If I had to take a guess, or it's Dark Poison. One of the two. But anywho, there we go! Alright. Stay out of our way, we're from Team Lunar, and we're on a mission to take over this region and its laws. And there's no room for the weak, only strong should prosper. If you want something, take it, claim it, do whatever you can get to it, to, you can to get it. That's how the world should be, and that's how it will be. If you're lucky, you might be one of those strong people who can live in our ideal world. Grunts, let's go, we have lo what we came for. Wow. Um, it's an interesting looking place. I'm going to heal up my Mons, and I'm going to see if, like, this is a place we can get encounters in. And if it is, then we're going to catch a Mon. Because this looks like an interesting place. Oh, it does not look like we are going to be able to catch Mons in here. I found a ground gem. Interesting. Okay. Well, looks like this door is closed. Doesn't look like I can get any Mons here. Well, then, I'm going to see if over here is how we get out of the... Okay. Um... Okay, I think we're going to end the episode here, and in the next episode, we will continue through this uh, little area. My hair just cut off for a second, but anywho, uh, yeah, so pretty successful episode. We got our gym badge, uh, we found a douchebag of probably a new rival, and we met Team Lunar, one half of the evil organizations we're going to be fighting, I'm assuming. I'm assuming they're going to be like Team Aqua and Magma, where they're on opposite sides fighting for the same thing, but anywho, I'm really excited for this game. Like, this is only episode three. I'm really hyped for it. I love everything. The Pokemon are awesome. Our, like, art starter looks great. But, anywho, if you guys are as hyped as I am, hopefully you guys are going to stick around for the rest of this series. But with that, we're going to get out of here. So, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash that button. If you want to see more, subscribe to Puzzle or PC Party. Share this friends, following Twitter, PC Blowmaster. Join the Discord link down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like on subscribe. I'm PC Blowmaster, and I'll see you guys next time.